Hello and welcome to another review. Today it's the uh, Roadbox Hong Kong Diorama set for metallic accessories from a uh, company that's pretty much just called Tiny. Uh, this is a company in Hong Kong itself and they specialize in making, well, diorama sets, uh, table displays that also function as uh, stationary. You can put paper clips in a little bin for example. And um, they've released a few cars to go with their sets, and as well as doing 3D printing on these little miniatures. But we'll go over that later because it kind of sucks. Um, yeah, so uh, they've done these two here are what well, they're calling them road boxes. It's B3 and B4 at a uh, 1 by 43 scale. And on the background here, you know, Standard Chartered Bank has become Stand Up Brother Bank. Uh, it says China Bank there, but bank has been cut off so they can get away with it because it's not China Bank, it's just China something. Uh, down here, a Dai Hing, it's a copy of Tai Hing, and there's uh, something that kind of looks like a McDonald's in the corner. And yeah, and these two ones are little, well, boxes. Uh, they have also released many other sets that are not boxes, they're just literally just big pieces of streets. So, um, which is uh, good for anyone um, who likes this sort of thing, and if you're a Hong Konger who doesn't live in Hong Kong anymore, some of these might appeal to you. And these, uh, just by looking at the boxes, reminds me of, uh, for example, Sleeping Dogs, uh, the video game based in a uh, made up version of Hong Kong where they have all these fake restaurants that kind of look like they're from Hong Kong but they're not. So, uh, underneath the box, you get all the special information here. It says Facebook page, you can check them out at uh, Tiny HK. On the top of the box, it gives you a the other way around. Uh, basic instructions on how to unfold and fold these boxes. Uh, this one's 200 Hong Kong dollars. It does not come with any electronics in it. This one has a street uh, street lights, so it has electronics, and it was something about like 380, 350. Hong Kong dollars. Um, so these are not mine, these are my friends. You can check out this YouTube. I'll put something in the description below. He does some casual let's play videos. And on the back here, it shows you some of the things you get in the box as well as advertising other things. So I'm going to go through that. I'm going to zoom in right now. I'm going to zoom in on the top box because it's the electronic one, it has more stuff going on. And um, it says that you actually have a uh, silent mode and they want a mode of the sounds. You just need to power the USB. One USB can only power one street light, which um, they should fix that at some point. If someone has more than one of these sets, one USB to power all would have been would be more ideal. So maybe they can do that in the future. Uh, right here shows you different street pieces and accessories. I have seen these street lamps sold on their own without any streets, just the lamp and the lights in the sound box, and it was two hundred something. So this is a lot cheaper than just getting that. Uh, a lot of these accessories here are all made of uh, with metal. But one thing here, it says if you do buy this box, you can get a discount of, uh, by spending 350 Hong Kong dollars, they'll 3D print and paint some uh, figurine that kind of looks like you, so you can put it in this scale. And that's um, completely ridiculous, because I've seen way cheaper 3D printing things online for much bigger scale of figurines, so don't bother. That's, uh, that's just way too expensive and pointless. And um, for like a thousand, no, for like 2,000 Hong Kong dollars, you can get your own 3D printer. So, yeah. Anyway, inside the packaging, you'll get a tiny box in here which stores a lot of the random uh, accessories and pieces. Uh, this box is already empty. There's, there's still two double side uh, sticker foam sheets, and what that is for is for sticking this metal plaque onto the box, which isn't that so, it isn't very good because um, it means it won't be flat up against the box. It'll be bumped up a little bit and cause the corners are kind of sharp, so that's not cool. Uh, the metal piece is printed okay. Both boxes have the same exact metal piece, so there's no special street names or anything. Inside the box, you probably also get a little cable tie, this soft, rubbery plastic. When I first saw it, I thought, hey, maybe you can use it for something else, but no. Uh, it's literally just for wrapping the wires there, so it's also useless now unless you pack it. Uh, and inside, everything is done by uh, stickers. Nothing is actually printed, which is kind of annoying for some people if they don't know how to apply stickers. You do have an option of um, different signs, you've got different speed limits, cameras, you've got uh, many, many street names. Most people will probably know Nathan Road. Uh, and yeah, just many, many random stickers that you can choose. So uh, if you buy more than one set, then you're going to have different options. And like I said, uh, people who don't apply stickers well will have a problem with this. And these aren't the only stickers in here because uh, you might be saying that's good that they have this kind of sticker for 
optional choices but um, they also use the stickers for the actual set piece so when you get one of these street boxes or road boxes out looks like this like a little shoe box thingy um, got the logo down, oh, down there in the bottom and you may be thinking yeah, it's probably pretty useful for uh, putting some cars in there storage or whatever but uh, it isn't the most ideal thing and I probably wouldn't do that so uh, it's interesting but probably not the best way of storing extra things to go with it you can but um, whatever so the way you open this you just pop this out and just uh, close it up uh, notice all four sides there are no connectors whatsoever so if you do buy more than one of these you cannot connect them together they will not go together they will just well, slide up against each other you can also get a gap between each box because of the plastic shell so yeah these are designed for single individual set pieces only they are not meant to be connected which is a huge shame so this plate comes up here there's no click or anything you just push it up and well uh, for now it's still tight but who knows maybe after a long time the joints will get loose and it won't be so tight anymore and yes this entire background here is done with stickers uh, as you can see my friend kind of messed up there but um, which is yeah these are big sheets of stickers uh, it doesn't come with any sort of cloth or fabric for easy applying and if you're not good at stickers this is going to be a huge mess uh, for there are no options here this set should have been easy for people this isn't a model kit they should have done it they should have printed these pieces or applied the stickers for you and I don't think that for the price that they're asking for they should have applied the stickers for you this isn't good at all and um, yeah looking at the stickers the angles aren't that good the perspective seems off uh, I mean, tell me, how, how does it make sense for this street to be looking slightly uh, sort of this angle and then this shop slightly uh, the opposite angle? Doesn't make sense. So, yeah, that's kind of sucky. Anyway, uh, it's like a really old video game where they didn't quite uh, put the textures in correctly. So, this one has a little mailbox. The mailbox itself does look nice. Um, So thank god this piece is actually printed and for the most part does look like a mailbox you get today in Hong Kong. It does not have any attachments at the bottom so as soon as you move the display piece, yeah that's going to happen. So that's kind of annoying, I'll just put it here I guess. Uh, you got a few of these street pieces, this is the non-electronic version which is why I'm looking at this first. So uh, there are some, a few holes here, there's two small holes here, two small ones here, and one small one there and one big one. And just for a street lamp if you do decide to buy one to add to it so I'll just stick this here you can see it doesn't quite want to go in well, lucky it's metal so it won't break so easily doesn't well it doesn't go all the way in which is a problem and you got a nice little uh, octopus card for the car parking octopus card in Hong Kong is where you put money on a card and easy swipe it across services and instant pay if you live in London then it's like the Oyster card uh, no relation so there you go uh, another one more good thing about this is that the street the pavement does look pretty neat so, yeah so there you go uh, that's one of the streets uh, I'll just move that along to the side so here's the other one now another problem with the stickers I'll demonstrate it here if these stickers do not come off as soon as they stick touch a surface that's it. So you better hope as soon as you put these, apply these, you've applied them correctly because if not you're going to get damaged stickers. This isn't like Lego or something where you can, uh, if you mess up a little bit before you apply completely, you can just pull it up and gently and uh, reapply it again. Uh, my friend did buy two of these sets so um, he's applied different stickers to these power box. He got uh, China, China Power and uh, well, the other one, Hong Kong Power, whatever. Uh, so you got these two metal boxes, and no, they, they don't open anything, they're solid pieces. Um, they, they've made it so it looks like that there's a door there, so that's that's a little bit of detail, which is nice, but it's completely unfunctional. So they just sort of stand there. And um, again, nothing attaches them at the bottom, so they can slide all over the place. He's got a signpost there, another signpost there, and you've got a uh, railing here. Again, it's all metal, but again, it's nothing attaching it to the surface, so... And like I say, you know, you put these two together and um, look, see, it's already falling apart. <sighs> we put these two together, you can sort of have a street view going on, but not quite. And uh, yeah, uh, this box right here, I think there's a gap at the bottom. Yes, there is. There's a little gap there, I think it's for the cables to come out. Um, they're not, yep, yeah, there are holes on both sides. 
but that's good. So you can actually have that and have the cables come out quite easily. So at least I've done that. So I'm gonna plug this in and it's kind of cool. So this is the box. Uh, it's got it's a, it's a sound and power box. It's got a little USB there. It's, bit, it's quite chunky. So you can imagine if you have ten of these sets, it's gonna be a bit of a pain. This is number tiny two here. Uh, maybe there'll be tiny three, four, five later. It's, uh, it's got the off position, the middle position, which is only lights, and the top position where it's got lights and sound. You got these two connectors, which look like audio jacks, um, which are. But um, if you put speakers in there, you might kill yourself. So don't do that. So I wouldn't dare do that. Um, probably break or something. So I'm gonna plug this in now. So before I turn this thing on, just a quick look here. Uh, this thing does have a screw underneath the box to tighten it because it's got electronics so they want this to be a bit more secure but uh, on this side you see there's a little bit of a handle there as a touch pad to uh, turn the uh, signal to uh, walking so you've got that little detail there so it's got metal of course and uh, these two signal lights do have slight rotation on them so just for demonstration I'll point both at the camera and I'm gonna turn it all the way on with the sound as well So, um, that's pretty fun. <laughs> it does look pretty good. Uh, pretty much the best looking thing out of the entire set. Uh, so that that's good for this one only. Uh, the rest of the thing is a hit and miss with this set, but the lights are definitely a hit. So there you go. Um, yeah, the sound isn't that accurate. It's, it's mostly accurate, but the lights are pretty good. Um, just having this on silent running 24-7 is a pretty neat little thing. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily have the sound on all the time. If they made a newer version where the sound was more accurate to the actual ticking noises. If you've ever been in Hong Kong, you know the sound's actually ticking. It's not an actual beep. And uh, But the speed and all that is pretty much correct. Of course, everything is sped up, so uh, you won't be stuck at waiting for the green light or red light for ages. Which is you know, good for uh, a display piece at least. So there you go. So, uh, you see the last image here, I placed uh, a, a Lego truck there, a few other mini cars there, They're sort of roughly the same scale. Um, yeah, the Lego figures can fit in here quite easily. Uh, in conclusion, this is a set made in Hong Kong for Hong Kongers, but uh, for the price it's asking for, I understand it's an independent company and sometimes sometimes making certain things the price will go up a little bit, but um, it's just a few things that just aren't good here. Um, I don't quite get why make a box because it's just wasting space, so get the other sets without the big box underneath. The lights are really nice, um, but uh, using stickers for the background is really a hit from, uh, really a miss for me. And I really think they could have done something to apply the stickers for you because a lot of people aren't going to be really good at that. And uh, when using an adhesive on the sticker sheet where it doesn't give you a second chance at all is uh, terrible. It sucks. And uh, the 3D print thing that they advertise on the back box, back of the box, it also sucks because that's even it's actually a discounted price. So God knows how much the actual full price is. That's not very good. So uh, there's good things here and bad things here. If they do carry on, I do hope they will improve in terms of price and quality of their display pieces. And I, I wish them well. But as of right now, um, I guess I only recommend this to people who just are really into tiny cars and really love miniature Hong Kong style buildings etc. If you have enjoyed this video please click the like button, subscribe button, also leave a comment below what you think about these sets and if you've got anything, any of yourself or any of the other versions you leave a comment below and uh, let us know how you feel about the sets that you own. And if you want to support this channel, please consider watching other videos without any ad block. And if you want to support it even further, please head over to the Patreon page. I would appreciate that a lot, but you don't have to. Most importantly, take care, have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.